Hello! Hey, did you know that the incredibly popular, massively online multiplayer role-playing game thing where you do the same thing lots of times and number goes up and maybe you talk to some people in the chat box, blah blah blah, World of Warcraft has its own Mega Bloks range with little figures and construction sets and everything? It's true. Obviously, I've got them for this video. Look, here comes one now. Excuse me, would you mind stopping for a bit of a review? Oh, all right then. Here it is. It, it's not very good. This stuff was really bloody expensive, actually, and I've had to wait ages for it to be reduced in Tesco because they wanted to get rid of it. So, what does this set contain? It's got a night elf, or maybe it's a blood elf. No, I think it's a night elf. They're like good people for the Alliance or something, I don't know. And their um, logo is printed slightly off kilter. Hey, nice attention to detail, Mega Bloks. So what do we get? We get this fantastic construction set, which consists of a fern, two pillars, a piece of green plastic, and a sort of purple nipple and a couple of bricks there. Grand total of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. This thing was like um, seven or eight pounds originally, I believe. Amazing. Anyway, let's sweep all that tut off to one side and look at the bendy staffed a night elf, I'm guessing druid, because he'd have a bow if he was a hunter, and a sword if he was a warrior, and a giant catapult filled with the pus of a thousand dead ungrateful centipedes if he was the thing from my dream last night. Yeah, um, he's got an extra robot hand on his back for holding his staff. It's slightly articulated and it's all big and bulky and a bit blurg. I've never been a fan of these Mega Bloks designs, they're all a bit... They've kind of moved away from the stylized look of Lego to something, you know, more, uh, well, I don't know if I want to term, use the term realistic when we're talking about elves, but you know what I mean, something a bit more convincing, but they kind of haven't gone all the way and it just ends up looking awkward and a bit weird. And look at the eyebrows on him. Ugh. Interesting fact about the elves from World of Warcraft, when you press the jump button they do a somersault. There we are, that saved you the trouble of playing the game. But don't worry, we have another set. Dun -dun 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 is the theme tuned to something which has nothing to do with this? Yes, it's like a griffin thing, presumably one of these prestige mounts you get later in the game that you can fly around on and uh, show off to noobs. And it's got a dog riding it, which I believe is called a worgen. I don't know, because uh, those things didn't exist many moons ago when I briefly played World of Warcraft. I have kind of an obsession with... Um, Massively multiplayer games. I always play them at the end of their lives, usually, just because I like exploring the sort of worlds they've designed. And I do that for about a couple of days and then get bored and then go home because nobody else is playing it. Anyway, here it is. It's a thing. The made of plastic. And it, it's, I mean, it's all right. It's very chunky. It's nicely produced. And it's got two little building bits on here for some reason. And a rope for evil... Skull thing. I thought these um, dogs were part of the good guys, but this appears to have a giant axe with a skull on it, which, generally speaking, is not something good guys have. And slightly crappy sub werewolf head and bulky body and sort of retrograde knees. And there we go. That's wonderful. And this was really expensive originally. I think we we're talking sort of somewhere between twelve and fifteen pounds or something, which is craziness. And I've got to say, it's not very impressive. It contains twenty-four pieces. And that's it. And it comes in a massive box. Look. Yeah, thanks. We really look like we're getting something impressive and then we get this. Now here's my problem with this. I've never been able to put my finger on exactly why I dislike all this Mega Bloks stuff so much in the past, but this has finally, basically, told me exactly what was lurking in my subconscious. 24 pieces, it says. More realistically, for a construction toy, we could say that this contains fuck all pieces, because there is nothing here you could use to make something different. See, with Lego, the whole point is, even if you've got a little set, you can take all the parts apart and, you know, make something else, design it in your own brain, and make it, and then poodle around with it, wherever. This, what are you going to make with this? Well, you can put his legs the other way round, and that's about it. Oh, hey, hang on, I'm going to customise my griffin. There we are, now it's got a small brown round head. You see, it's nothing, it's not a construction toy at all. It's almost like Mega Blocks don't give a shit about that sort of thing. As evidenced by this, which is supposed to look like it's several things put together, but is in fact just one piece of plastic. 
it's all a bit disappointing in that sense. It's not a construction. They're not interested in making construction toys at all. They've got licenses, they want to produce things with the license on as cheaply as efficiently as possible, and they're not interested in actually being construction toys. So don't pretend you bloody are, you sods, because it's very annoying. When you get a Lego set, everything is actually made out of pieces of Lego. You don't just get one purple slab you can use to balance on a griffin's head. So you can't do that really, because they're from different sets. Ah, oh, dearie me. Very, very disappointing. You know, I really wish this was a blind bag opening, because then I could burn these things, but sadly, this is a different type of video. Ah, fuck it. For the Horde! Holy shit, I just went up a level! Shit, it didn't drop any loot!